What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. So tonight I'm going to be showcasing this vintage prototype golf cart I picked up a few months ago. Also here, let me spin the camera around. Look at you better view. So the story on this one is in the 70s, 80s, there's a company over in Detroit Lakes trying to build some golf carts. They built about five of these prototypes, try to get some funding. Funding never happened. So unfortunately they had to go out of business. Uh, but they designed quite a unique cart. Uh, you can definitely tell it's homemade. It's a lot of just angle iron, flat stock, pretty much anything they had back in the day to throw this thing together. Um, so when I picked it up, I'll throw a couple picks in here, but it was a lot shorter. So what I ended up doing was lengthening the chassis about 18 inches. Uh, I was so short before, I just couldn't imagine how stable it would be going at any you know rate of speed. So I decided to lengthen it a little. Um, that way, you know, I could have a few more options as far as mounting golf clubs on this. Also, you know, big old section right here, could fit a nice cooler on there for some cold snacks. But yeah, so it's a rear steer. Had to obviously extend the shaft as well, 18 inches or so. I threw on just some cheap John Boat seats. Uh, these were a lot better condition. Uh, than you know those original crappy ones over there all right so here it is the 459 predator from harbor freight took the stock air cleaner off you know went with a nice chinese air filter right there it's able to retain the choke right there so it's actually in to start and then once you get it running you pull it set up like that because how the arm is I could try to move it to that little nub on the far side but for now that's fine I also got the throttle hooked up one thing I got to figure out so with the you know dual throttle control from each side you step down I'm only getting about maybe 50 percent 60 so I got to figure that out how to get full throttle out uh, but I don't have the passenger seat on so I can show you the guts. So it does have a 12 volt battery. Has a braking system. And it has a bunch of chains here that drive the axle. Give you a shot of the other side too. I went on like eBay, Amazon, picked up just a Comet 40 series clutch or whatever. Driven one as well. Had to weld on a nut to be able to mount it to that shaft originally. Uh, but it worked out, and then here where the golf clubs go. And I have this little kind of cage looking thing to protect the drive and, you know, the exhaust and whatnot. Uh, that's where the top of your clubs mount. So they kind of go backwards, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, let me get throw the other seat on. I'll show you guys how this thing runs. So as you can see, each person can control the throttle. Each person can actually steer. Throttle, and then when you let off of it, it's got a braking system that works just wonderfully. And I was able to use the starter and the kill off the engine. So here, I'll fire it up for you. So push in to start. Hit it. Set the brake, still gotta work on it a little. There we go. But overall, it runs pretty good. I don't know how practical it'll be once I get on the golf course, but we'll find out. So 
that's gonna do for this video. Uh, so we're about 80% done or so with the cart. You know, it's just a bunch of little stuff to finish now. Still waiting on some parts for the old 56 so we can finish up the metal work on the cab. And that's pretty much ready to go. Get the frame stripped down, painted, make it look all nice. Uh, probably start tearing the suspension out of the 58, uh, removing the coils, start working on that air ride kit. Uh, but anyways, drop a like, throw me a comment, what do you think of the golf cart? What do you like to see done to it? And feel free to subscribe so you can see the rest of my projects. Thanks.